Hey, this is Clayton, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about one way to create deep intimacy and long-lasting trust, loyalty, and devotion with your partner. The concept is this. Your vulnerability creates the opportunity for your partner to be their best self in the relationship. Here's what I mean. Has any of your friends ever told you a secret about them and you promise not to share it? Probably. And how did it feel when that person revealed something that was really close to their heart and trusted you with that not to tell anybody? Did you feel honored? Did you feel respected? Did you feel like there was a closer bond that you had suddenly with that person? Probably. I know I have in the past when people have shared things with me. And see, in that place where the person has trusted you with something that's close to their heart, you have the opportunity to either be someone that breaks your commitment or someone that stands in integrity and in alignment with the commitment. And if they didn't give you that secret, if they didn't trust you with that secret, you actually wouldn't have the opportunity to choose integrity. So by them revealing something close to their heart, they are giving you a gift for the two of you to become closer, for the two of you to have a deeper bond and deeper intimacy and a stronger connection. Now, there's another way that we can be vulnerable and share things that are close to our hearts in relationships. And one of the most common is this. Let's pretend that your boyfriend or girlfriend miss an important date, like an anniversary, okay? Now, once that anniversary is missed, you might be really angry and pissed off at your boyfriend for not giving you a gift or a card or something like that. And see, if you share the anger with him, it might feel like you're being vulnerable. Well, I'm expressing my emotions, I'm letting him know that I'm angry, and yes, that is one form of vulnerability. It's probably better than trying to play it cool like you're not pissed off and pull back and stuff it and hope that it goes away when really it's just festering underneath and then explodes later on in the relationship. But there is a deeper way to share something even closer to your heart. And David Data, who is this author on intimacy and Tantra, uh, says this in such a wonderful uh, fashion. He says that when we experience uh, something from our partners that we don't like, there's a primary emotion and there's a secondary emotion. And in the case of your partner missing an anniversary, you might think it pisses you off, but underneath that, if we just peel it back, what's really there? What's the primary emotion? And it might be hurt. It might be this feeling of that you're not lovable or that you're not significant to your partner. And see, that is so tender that we think to share that with our partner we might give them all the power. We might come off like we're needy. We might come off like we're weak. And God forbid we come off like we're weak to our partner. So we crust it over with anger and then we share that. The problem is it's not actually being vulnerable if it comes off like an attack to your partner. So the way to be vulnerable is to actually share the primary emotion, which is the hurt and the feeling insignificant. Because when you do that, you are bearing a piece of your heart to your partner for them to see. And what it does is it gives them a very clear reflection of the impact that they and their actions are having on you. And then they get the opportunity to see themselves more clearly and they can come into alignment and they can apologize and they can make something that was wrong right. But if you attack them, they might shut down and they might not be able to see clearly what they did or they might feel like they're trying to push the weight of the attack off of them and they'll, they're feeling like they're forced to apologize rather than given the opportunity to apologize. So how would you communicate this primary emotion of hurt that's in you, that's really tender and close to your heart to your partner in a way that would allow them to have the opportunity to be their best self and come into integrity around the situation. It would look like taking ownership of the feeling and communicating it with what uh, therapists and uh, other people call I statements. 
And an I statement would be something like, when you miss the anniversary, I felt really hurt. I felt insignificant. I felt like I didn't matter. And I know that probably wasn't your intention. I know that wasn't your intention. And this is how I feel. See, I'm not attacking them. I'm not saying you made me feel like this. You did this on purpose or how dare you, right? Which just puts them on the defensive. I'm owning my feelings. I'm owning that there was impact over here from this situation that unfolded the way that it did. And then it gives your partner a chance to open up and write what was wrong and apologize to you. And listen, your partner might still get defensive. They actually might still see you expressing your emotions as an attack. And it's just an opportunity for the two of you to get closer and talk about that even further. And really talk about what's in his heart, what's in your heart, and get to the heart of the matter and the heart of the challenge or the heart of the, the, the situation uh, so you can move through it rather than repress it and have it get brushed under the rug only to come up later. So that is one way, that is a powerful way to bring more trust, more honesty, more of your heart, more of the full you into the relationship and create deep intimacy. You know, intimacy is not something that is just positive and warm, fuzzy feelings all the time. Intimacy is two people coming together and really seeing each other and building, consciously building resilience and the bandwidth to weather the storm of fights and other disagreements in the future. And when you practice doing this with your partner, you will automatically build a stronger foundation for more of the roller coaster of life to occur between the two of you. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to it, uh, like the video, comment below too. You know, I'm really curious, has this happened in your relationship? Do you find yourself stuffing emotions and not actually revealing the primary emotion to your partner? And can you see how this would make a difference in your relationship? If so, comment below. If you don't think so, if you think it's a bunch of crap, comment below as well. I want to hear that too. Thank you for watching.